In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this uh, underwater scene in Photoshop. I also have a GIMP version of this tutorial, although I've made a few tweaks in this one uh, since I've made the GIMP version. So go ahead and open up a new image. Uh, you can use whatever size you like. I'm just going to go with 1280 by 720. And uh, go ahead and grab your gradient tool. And go ahead and have um, your first color on a light blue. The uh, HTML notation of the color I'm using is 72DDF5. And then the second color, uh, set it to a dark blue. The color I'm using is 06496B. And then go ahead and just click and drag straight down, and you can press shift while you're doing while you're clicking and dragging to get a straight line. And then go ahead and create a new layer. And now set your uh, foreground background color to black and white, and go to filter. Render, Clouds. And then go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and click on Plastic Wrap, which is under the Artistic folder. Um, and you can play around with these settings, but I'm going with a highlight strength of 15, Detail 10, Smoothness 15. And then click OK. And then go to Edit, Transform, Scale and just click and drag so that it's now only in the top section of your image. And then go to Edit Transform Perspective and click and drag it so that it is now like this trapezoid shape. And then go into your Layers window and set the layer mode to Overlay. And then I'm just going to grab my eraser tool. Um, and I'm just using a big fuzzy brush. And I'm just going to softly erase the edges, the hard edges here on this layer, just so it blends more seamlessly. And then what you want to do is duplicate this layer, which you can do by pressing Command or Control J. And then go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical and just move that layer down to the bottom. And then lower the opacity of that layer to about 55. And then make a new layer um, and grab your paintbrush tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a big fuzzy brush and set your foreground color to black and just paint in a similar trapezoid shape here at the bottom. and set this layer mode to soft light and lower the opacity to about 50 um, and move that layer underneath the uh, duplicated top image and you can play around with that and then what you want to do is make another new layer and go to filter render clouds again and now go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and set the angle to 90 and distance to 25. And then set this layer mode to Overlay. And go to Edit, Transform Scale. And I'm just going to click and drag uh, in on the sides to compress it a little. And if you press Alt while you're clicking and dragging, it will uh, move this side as well. So I'm just going to move it in a little bit like this and then go to Edit, Transform, Perspective. And I'm going to drag in the top corners and move out the bottom ones. like so, so it's another trapezoid shape. And then I'm going to grab my eraser tool again and just 
soften the edges of that. And there you go, you have your very simple underwater scene.